Now, before you say, Jen, you said you weren't going to subscribe to Coco Daisy. That's true. This is not their subscription. I'm actually going to be sharing with you their um, specialty kit that's coffee themed. So this was a pre-order from several months ago that I knew would ship in February. It shipped towards the end of February here with just a few days left. And it comes packaged just like all their other goodies in their yellow polka dot box. Everything is tissue wrapped. You get one of these business style cards if you purchase something um, that is not subscription based. And then there's what I call like standalone kits that aren't part of their subscriptions still come in this plastic envelope, which I really appreciate. So let's go ahead and get everything taken out of here. I'll unwrap everything so you don't have to deal with the loud noise. And then we will go through each item and I'll kind of give you my thoughts on how I would use them in my planner. Okay, so I'm gonna preface this with saying I just filmed literally last night my updated setup and it's obviously not using a Coco Daisy kit since I haven't subscribed to them for a few months and I'm really feeling the vibe that I have going here. So I don't know for sure if I'll dive right into this coffee kit. I'm gonna try to um, wait a little bit till my current setup is kind of losing its appeal to me, I guess, and before I want to change. So um, if you want to see my current setup, I fiddled with it a little bit um, when I did my cloth and paper haul video, which will be live um, probably before you see this video. But I wanted my traveler's notebook handy in case I needed to show you guys how I plan to incorporate some of these items. But let's take a look at each um, this is a notepad holder, so you do have to uh, put the elastic in. Um, yeah, should just go right through that hole in the spine. And then pull it taut. And then you can fold it in half. and it's like a little traveler's notebook. So I have seen people take these and use like a tool to punch holes in the spine and then put elastic through to make it an actual traveler's notebook. And I believe it would then hold like passport size inserts, um, but you can just use it as it's intended. And that is to hold their notepad, which I have also done before just to keep in my purse um, or my tote bag to write down like random things and then their smaller sheets of stickers do fit over here in the pocket or you could always make a list that you want to save and then tuck it over here for future reference but that's how um, it's intended to be used and it does have an elastic pin loop of course I love coffee I live on coffee I get coffee just about every morning and so the theme of this, I'm really liking the neutral with um, the writing and the coffee cup on this little notebook holder. Okay, so that's one of the items that you get. And then I guess we'll go into the papers. That's the majority of what I use when I'm setting up my traveler's notebook. Um, we did get a piece of this coffee stained looking um, vellum. So that's very pretty. I will show you how I have that in my current setup. Um, here I actually have 
my daily insert. Um, let me unclip this. So I made this with some old scrapbook paper and it's my daily insert. And what I did was I wrapped one of the Valentine paper from their Valentine kit. I wrapped that around my first insert and then taped it with washi tape because the vellum isn't big enough to go all the way across. But I'm not using this page, my cleaning tracker. I'm actually using the cleaning tracker here for February. So I don't mind losing this page. And I think it's just absolutely beautiful to have a piece of um, pretty acetate or vellum in your traveler's notebook. And unlike rings, you can't just punch it. So that's what I've been doing. Just wrap it around the first insert and then tape it down to the back. Okay, so that would probably be how I plan on using this pretty piece of vellum. And then you can do the same thing with the acetate. And this one is just clear with a coffee stain. You could even layer those two if you wanted to. That would be really fun to have that layering effect. And then you get six papers. They are reversible. So we have those three. And then the reverse of those look like this. So I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys, like seeing all this together and how it would look in this white Moterm planner, it's going to be pretty hard for me not to <laughs> jump right in, but I am going to resist and kind of save this kit for a little bit on the shelf. So absolutely love all of these papers and the color combinations. Here's the one that has the print on it. It looks like it's the same print that was on the notepad holder. Okay, so you get plenty of paper to choose from. And then I'll mention our little embroidered Simon clip. He's holding his cup of coffee, of course. And then we did get a washi tape. So this one does have the word coffee written over and over on repeat in some different fonts. And then you can kind of see the coffee cup stain there on that as well. Moving right along, we also got a sheet of these puffy alphas. And then three of these big tags. I love, love, love this one. So what I usually do is um, add some twine or ribbon to the top and just use these as page markers. I'm really loving that one. And actually, this saying was on one of the cards maybe in 2021 or 2022. Today's Good Moods is sponsored by coffee. I think it was 2021. And I kept that project card because it's one of my absolute favorites and it's in my current setup. So I could always keep that card in with this if I decide to move over. We got some enamel glitter dots. I love adding these as embellishments to like my dashboards, not so much my planner pages, um, but just for decoration. Let's see what else here. We have chipboard stickers, which are obviously very thick. However, if you take an X-Acto knife up, I actually did this in a reel on my Instagram, you can peel off the top layer and then you have like a regular thickness sticker instead of something that's going to bulk up your planning pages. If I use the chipboard as is, it would probably be more of like a journal or memory keeping spread. But if you don't mind the bulk, you could definitely use them in your planner. We also got a sheet of these label stickers, which I think would be really nice in a memory keeping spread. However, I have been loving them in my traveler's notebook setup as well. So let me see. It's on my daily again. So this blue outline was one of those stickers. And then I'm pairing it with a Planner Kate um, monthly label. And then I did that again for March. 
Um, so I used one of these from the Valentine kit and again a Planner Kate label. Just have this loose back here until we hit the month of March in a couple of days. So that's how I would be using these. We also got a stamp set. Um, this obviously could be used pretty much everywhere. It, it's a very, in my opinion, very much a traveler's notebook vibe with the coffee stain. Coffee equals survival juice. Coffee one cup will do, but I'll have four just to be safe. Drink your coffee, it's chaos out there. Coffee before talkie. Decaf coffee, you mean brown sadness water. And then, but first coffee. And then we have procaffeinate. It's a verb to delay or postpone action. Put off doing something until you've had coffee. Amen. So lots of fun little coffee stamps there on that stamp set. Also got a package of die cuts. I'm hoping these have tabs in them. Okay, so if you are not familiar, they do have adhesive on the back already. You just peel and stick, which is a really nice um, option, I guess, for die cuts. I know other die cuts on the market, you either have to tape or glue down since these are already have adhesive on the back. Makes it super simple just to carry them around and stick them down. May your coffee be strong and your Monday short. Life is too short to start your day without coffee. Guys, I'm very disappointed. I'm not seeing the tabs in here. That makes me very sad. Very, very sad. Those are my favorite parts of Coco Daisy kits. Listen, before I had my coffee, I didn't know how awesome I was going to be today either. I'm just waiting to see if my coffee chooses to use its power for good or evil today. Coffee, a noun. A little iced coffee, decaf coffee saying, some little flags and embellishments. Life happens, coffee helps. Looks like there is only one, maybe two little tabs here. No, two tabs, but they are not the tabs I'm talking about. We have this little one. And this one, I was really, really hoping that it would have their traditional tabs that look like this. That would have been perfect in my opinion, but you know, I don't make the decisions. And then we'll finish up with some cards. So this is a four by six card, ways to win my heart. Buy me coffee, make me coffee, or be coffee. And another four by six card. Listen, before I had my coffee, I didn't know how awesome I was going to be today either. And then we have four little project cards. They are single sided. Dinosaurs had no coffee. How did that work out? <laughs> Not well. One that says, I need more coffee. I need more coffee. I wonder if somewhere there's a cup of coffee just thinking about me too. And spilling coffee is the adult equivalent of losing your balloon. Okay, so the last kit that I got, I think it was the Valentine kit. I was actually missing some items and they shipped those to me once I pointed it out which their customer service, um, Wendy, that works at Coco Daisy is absolutely phenomenal. So I will go definitely check the listing, which I haven't done yet, and make sure I have all the components. Um, I would recommend doing the same, just, you know, things happen that could be a blip. And if something's wrong with your kit, I know they would make it right. So again, excellent customer service, but that's a look at the coffee kit. It, again, it's a standalone kit, not part of their subscription. I think when I looked last, they had closed or shut down the orders for this. And now that they've shipped, they've done inventory and they have a few left. So I will put the link down below just in case you wanted to grab one. That's not an affiliate link. Um, just 
if you need the direct link, that's what it would be for to make it easy for you guys to find the kit. And yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I had fun looking at all this and we will see how long I can wait before I switch everything over because this kit is absolutely gorgeous. Bye friends.